Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, job costing. So I'm going to have a series of videos uh, related to job costing and QuickBooks Desktop. So you want to check it out. Uh, so this ha this video happens to be uh, how to set up chart of accounts, chart of accounts. So in order to do uh, uh, job costing the right way, you need uh, uh, proper chart of account uh, set up to start with. Uh, so I'm going to focus on that one. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Desktop. So this happens to be uh, Premier, QuickBooks Premier. You have Pro. Uh, you can use Pro, but you can do a limited job costing if you have Pro. Uh, so if you want to do uh, real job costing, uh, QuickBooks Premier is the way to go. Okay, so the chart of accounts. I'm going to go to chart of accounts right here. Uh, so you can go to chart of accounts from here or, or, or under list. Chart of account takes you to the same place. So I'm going to focus on cost of goods sold. Okay, so cost of goods sold. In QuickBooks, it's cost of goods sold. Uh, you know, uh, if you are do, doing uh, familiar with cost accounting, uh, they may call it direct cost. Uh, or uh, variable cost, uh, you know, you have a couple of terminology for that. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with cost of goods sold. So it's basically, if you have a job, then you have that cost. If you don't have a, that job, you don't have that cost. As simple as that. It's, it's really variable cost, so directly related to that job. Okay, so uh, the first one you want is a job related cost. And normally, you know, any uh, uh, cost job costing and cost accounting, you will have uh, the the real uh, you know big ones like material and labor, and uh, so sometimes could be uh, uh, independent contractors involved, right? So uh, so I'm just going to focus on uh, the big ones. So the job labor costs start with job labor costs in here. Uh, this is this is uh, part of the payroll cost. So whoever working directly on that job, it's called job labor, gross wages. And then, you know, then you have other uh, uh, payroll related expenses like workers' comp, payroll taxes, and then benefits. So it's basically the first one is the, uh, the, the, uh, the parent account. Let's see how it's set up in here. I'll show you how it's set up in here. It's basically, you go to account, account type, it's cost of goods sold. To open a new account, that's new, and underneath you will see under account types, just select uh, cost of goods sold, right, and then just, just name it. Okay, so in this case, job related cost, uh, account type, cost of goods sold, job related cost, and it's a parent account, it's not a sub account. And for the other one, job labor, you call, just call it job labor, gross wages. Uh, or you can just call it labor cost, uh, and underneath you have, uh, uh, you know, it's related to job related cost, right? Uh, this is a, this is the parent account, it's a sub account, and it's set up the uh, other accounts also set up the same way, like this, right? And uh, in this case, uh, in this type of account, the account code is used. Sometimes, uh, if you want, if you don't want to use it, you can just turn it up. Uh, you know, it's, it's not a big deal, but it's you know, f for job costing, it's, it comes in really handy if you use uh, uh, account code. All right, so let's just this is parent account. Let's say you want to uh, create sub accounts underneath, right? It's very easy. Let's go to under account, just say uh, new, right? And under under account types, cost of goods sold. Okay, let's say you want to call this material cost. And your sub account of job related cost, right? And you can just copy and paste it for description. Revenue. All right, let's say this one is 5111. Okay, so right here is a 511, 5100 is the uh, the parent one, and the next one is starting with the material cost, 5111, right? 
Let's say you want to create another one. Let's say another new one here. Sorry. I want to create a new one. Account types. Cost of goods sold. And let's say this one is for uh, subcontractor cost. Subcontract cost. And sub account of job related cost. All right, so you have to remember to sign account number. Okay, and let's I'll just create. I'm just going to create uh, uh, another one here. So travel, travel cost. Okay, because you, for the job, you let's say you you send out uh, uh, your uh, employees on site job. Okay, so you got an idea now. As you can see here, it's job related cost. Underneath, you have material cost, subcontract cost, travel cost, and uh, let's say you buy some tools to do this job. You can create the tools. All right, well, I'm just going to call it tooling cost. So you got an idea uh, what you need to do. All right, Oop, again. Okay, I'm going to create one more. Let's say you have some of uh, the others, uh, other costs involved, or the minor cost. If it's a major one, you want to create a separate account for that. I think this is now if I run five. Okay, so as you can see here, so this is how you have to uh, create uh, uh, accounts. You know, under job cost, related costs, you have materials, subcontract, travel, tooling, other cost, right? Okay, so once you set up this, then uh, you can create an item list. So that's going to be on my next video item list. So item list is right here item list all right and then you have overhead expenses you know all the indirect uh, expenses uh, so basically you know for job costing uh, this is the one it goes uh, right before the gross margin gross profit so this is the one you need to focus on in order to do job costing and other costs you can either apply it uh, allocate it uh, you know a couple of ways to do it uh, but the main focus is on, uh, on direct cost. All right. So thank you for watching this video and uh, uh, look for another video. Uh, and it's going to be on uh, uh, item list. And it's going to be how to set up payroll item list. So just watch for uh, our videos, job costing videos. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.